Hey guys, and welcome back to another Django tutorial. So in today's video, it's going to be a little bit shorter. And what we're going to be doing is simply adding a sidebar to our website and making things look just a little bit nicer. Now in the next video, we're going to go on to add bootstrap to our website and then be able to make something that looks pretty well like this. Uh, and I'll show you guys some more of this example in a second. But for right now, we're just going to be adding this nice sidebar with some hovers and kind of showing you how to go about doing that. So anyways, let me give you a quick preview on what our website is going to look like in the next two, maybe three tutorials. So for example, we have these links on the side here, we can view all of our different to do lists. So if I go to new list, you can see that we go there, we can go to create, which will allow us to create a new to do list. And then obviously, if we go inside of a to do list, we can see all these nice check buttons, we can hit save, we can add a new item, for example, by doing that. And this is just kind of the basics. I haven't gone crazy with this, I could obviously make this look a lot better be a lot more dynamic. Uh, but this only took me about 15 20 minutes just to style and make everything look decent. So anyways, that is kind of what we're gonna be working towards in terms of using bootstrap, which is just some CSS that's pretty much already made for us and uh, adding a sidebar today. Okay, so let's uh, get out of this and let's go into our, uh, what do you call it, file here. And all we're gonna be doing to add this sidebar is working inside of this base.html file. Now, because all of these files inherit from base.html, this makes it really easy to add stuff like a sidebar to our website because all we have to do is add it into the base template and will automatically be added to all of the other ones. Now, what I'm gonna start by doing is just setting up a div here that's gonna represent our sidebar. And if you're not familiar with HTML and CSS and all this stuff, I'll try to explain how some of this stuff works, um, but it is pretty straightforward. You should get it pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna say the class is equal to, and in this case, side nav uh, like that and then we will end that div and inside here i'm just going to put a few links which will be our sidebar items so in this case i'm going to say slash home and this link name will be home like that and I'll copy these a few times okay so home will have create and then we can add one more link if we want to uh, but we don't actually have anywhere for this to really go to yet. Let's just do like slash two and just call this uh, view. Okay. So anyways, what I'm doing right now, guys, uh, in case some of you are confused, essentially, is this href just stands for where this link is going to go when we click on it. A stands for a link tag. And this div is just a way that we can style a bunch of different elements at once by doing, for example, class equals side nav. And now what we're going to do is up here in our head tags is we're going to create a CSS kind of script or style sheet within our HTML file here and define what our side nav is going to look like. Now we also need to add a class here to our main div because I'm going to add some stuff in here and this class will just be called what was it main like that. Okay. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is go up top here and I'm just going to add a bit of styling stuff to make this div here that we've added of links appear on the side of the screen, a certain color, and then add some hover effects and stuff to it as well. So this is really just going to be adding some CSS at this point. So I'm just going to add some style tags here. Uh, we'll close that style there. And in here, I'm going to do type equals, and in this case, text slash CSS like that. And now I'm actually just going to copy off my other monitor because I can't remember all of the styling I've done on this. Uh, but essentially, if we want to access or change the side nav class, what we do is we use a period representing a class. And then we type the name of our class, which is side nav, we can add these uh, brackets like this. And then inside here is all of the styling we want to apply to our side nav. So for example, we want the height to be equal to 100 pixels, which are sorry, not 100 pixels, 100%, which means that it's going to take up the entire height of the screen. So you saw that on my left side, it took up the entire height, we're going to say width, and in this case, we'll just give it a pixel value. So 160 pixels, and you can modify this value if you want. We're going to say position. Uh, and in this case, it's going to be fixed. We could make this a dynamic sidebar, but I'm not going to do that in this part. We're going to say Z index. And in this case, one, which means that it's going to stay all the way at the top of our screen. Uh, we're going to add top, which is zero. We're going to say left uh, zero like that, which just means again, stay in the top left hand corner of our screen. We're going to say background. And in this case, is it even there? Uh, it's not background, I believe color. And we're going to say this is pound one, 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 which will give us that kind of dark blackish gray color you guys saw before. We'll say overflow X uh, and this is hidden. 
and I don't even remember what this one does. Oh, it just it makes sure that we don't go horizontal uh, with our sidebar. And then we'll do padding from the top uh, of 20 pixels. Now, just to, as a disclaimer here, I did not create the sidebar. I just found this on some like CSS website and modified some of the attributes. So that's what I'm going off of here. If you guys want to create a different kind of sidebar, you can feel free to modify these kind of properties, change the color. Like they're pretty straightforward in how they work. Or you can just look up like nice sidebar or nice title bar online and they'll probably give you the CSS uh, and even the HTML on how to do that. So now I'm going to set up what my links inside of my sidebar are going to look like. So whenever you want to specify a certain tag from within a class, you do the class name and then the actual tag itself. So in this case, side nav a, which means if I highlight this, you can see it's actually highlighting all of these a tags here that are inside of my side nav. So what I'm going to do here is say padding. Uh, and in this case, we're going to say six pixels, uh, no, eight pixels, six pixels and 16 pixels and again feel free to mess with these numbers we're going to say text and in this case decoration and this will just be none for now and then down here we're going to say font and you guys can mess with this as well you have to look up the fonts if you want to know what these mean is 818181 and display in this case is going to be block style so is that all uh oh sorry what am i saying this is color and the font i must have misread this here the font is going to be just, we're going to do the font size, which is 25 pixels like that. Okay. So that's it for the side nav a tag. And now all that's left to add is actually what happens when we hover over our aid um, tags. So for example, if we hover on these, we want to change the color so we can do that from within CSS. So to do that, what we're going to do is literally just copy this, except we'll add this, uh, what do you call it? Property here called hover. And then all we're going to do is just simply change the color when we hover. So to do this, we'll just change this color to uh, F1, F1, F1. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've done that now. And the only thing left to do actually is move this uh, what do you call it this main content here over to the right because right now what we are actually gonna have is we're gonna have the sidebar and then this content will go below the sidebar we don't want that so to move this content block or I guess this class main over uh, it's pretty straightforward we'll do dot main like that and then in here we'll just say margin hyphen left and in this case is 160 pixels did I spell margin correctly no I did not and we'll just add a bit of padding here so we'll say padding and then in this case, we'll do zero pixels and 10 pixels like that. Now that should be about it actually for our sidebar. And by applying this to our uh, base.html file, this will apply to our entire website. So let me actually get back into my, uh, what do you call it, file here so I can run this for you guys. So CD Django tutorial, CD my site. And in this case, we'll just do Python manage.py run server. And let's grab this link here, go to Google Chrome, and let's see how this looks. Okay, so there we go. So we've created a nice home page here. You can see we have home, create, view. Uh, if I go to home, uh, so slash home doesn't exist. That's just my bad. I don't have a slash home page here. Um, and I, if I go to create, you can see we have this nice little create now. And if I go to view, it brings me to uh, list item number two or whatever it is or to do list number two so that is precisely how we add a sidebar and you can see that this is a really nice thing that we have essentially is the fact that we have this base.html file because look i just applied this sidebar to my entire website really easily so now i actually i feel like i must have forgotten some kind of font size here because on my other website the font looks better but um you know what, for now, that's just fine. So anyways, uh, I, that is actually gonna be it for this tutorial. I know this was a bit shorter, um, but this shows you how to add a sidebar. It also kind of shows you how you can style some of your different items. If you want to add some more content blocks or you wanna add classes to specific things, you can do exactly what I've just done here inside of your other files as well. You can add some style tags or you can add the style tags here and then add the classes on stuff like this. And yeah, so in the next video, we're going to be adding bootstrap to our website, which is a, a nice CSS styling and we'll make it look a little bit nicer, change some of the fonts um, and just make everything look a bit cleaner. So anyways, that has been it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I will see you again in a next.